And we are ready to go from Graff Field. First pitch on the way from McKenna Reed and jumping on the first pitch. And Henry Bunts, the second pitch back towards the circle and beats the throw to first. Devin Flaherty covering back towards the circle, but Reed unable to throw out Henry. Who that long ball. Another bunt laid down. It's picked up by the first baseman. This time, Amalia Ross, and no throw. So, top of the order, Henry and Scott both with bunt base hit. DP. She shows bunt. It goes back to the screen, and the runners will each advance 60 feet on a wild pitch. Here of eligibility left. After this one, softly hit to short. Lisa Torres on to first. The runners have to hold up, so Mitchell unable to advance them. Henry stays at third. Atwood pops this up. Out of the short right. This might be trouble, but coming on at the last moment, Hallie Waycaser now tagging up and scoring is Caden Henry. They just hung on to the ball, and wow. Henry was going to stay at third. That ball was barely hit out of the infield, but she does score the game's first run. Alyssa Washington sends it to center field. Janai Kerr back. It's over her head and off the base of the fence. Mia Scott cruises in from second and into second is Alyssa Washington with her sixth double of the season. And Texas has now scored twice here in the top of the first. That is the 52nd double of the year for this Texas team. I mean, they just know how to swing it. There's a lot of pop off this bat at 103. And strike three gets Stewart looking. And she lost her, Beecham. Works the walk after falling behind a ball in two strikes. Let's talk about the three different strike zones. Bouncy ball softly hit right side. Washington with the underhand shovel toss to get Janai Kerr. So this just a little adjustment, a little movement, bring up that shoulder. Line to second base and mm. down to her knees. Alyssa Washington makes the catch. There you go. She'll go down and then come back up. Through the hole and into left field. Viviana Martinez. Against the Texas second with a base hit. With them. This is a program that was a national runner up a couple years ago. And speaking of bunting, and they can't throw him out again as Maloney beats that out. The Texas team that hits 738 as a team. Another bunt. Throw to first will be in time from the third baseman, Jason E. Beecham, but it does advance the other runners. Scott sends it down the left field side, slicing towards the corner, caught by Mudge, tagging up. Maybe Martinez will scoot it and score. A sack fly for Scott. Her 21st RBI, and Texas adds on here in the second and makes it 3-0. It's a separator. Is this going to stay in play? It will. In foul territory, caught by Amaya Ross. Up the road on I-35, hits one back past the pitcher, Morgan, but Close but safe at first as Washington's throw got there just a little late. And Lisa Torres has a base hit first of the game for the Seminoles. She's not leaving it up mid thigh. That's chopped through the right side and a base hit for Michaela Edenfield. Stopping at second is Torres. And it's two on with one out. Ground ball to second out there to first and a double play ends the inning. Little floater down to the right field side, and that's going to drop kick away from Waycaser. And Atwood's off to the races. She's around second. She's headed for third. She'll even take a little turn there. And she's going to have her first triple of the season right there. Catcher comment, because, you know, <laughs> my, my, catch, my former catchers would give me a hard time. <laughs> the second one handed out by McKenna Reed. Squares, trailing runner Washington will steal second base, her fourth bag of the year. Yeah, there's a lot of things that play into it in our sport. That's going to be dropped into right field, base hit. Wallace will come in, throw comes to the plate, and down to second base goes Stewart. RBI single for Stewart. Washington over to third, and Stewart takes advantage of the throw home. And it's 4 nothing. It's off the plate, this pitch inside. She's jammed up a little bit, but. Lifted to right, and a play for Harding. She makes the catch. Here's the tag. Washington 
halfway stops. Now they got the trailing runner Stewart. They're going to allow her to come back to the second base bag. Ground ball base hit through the wicket to Stewart. Washington is in. Stewart follows her and a pinch hit two run single. Katie Simmons. Just so many tools to be able to bring off the bench. Katie Simmons, a lot of experience last year playing first base hitting as well. This is an off speed pitch and she's just going to barrel it up, shoot it right back up the middle. And she has bunted her way on and walked. Runner goes, throw down his second, safe. It was close, but she got the foot yeah. in. We had a pretty good look at it straight on. That left foot got in just ahead of the tag. And it looks like it could be a timing violation. It is going to end the inning, so that'll get the Florida State defense off the field. That ball shot deep towards center field. Henry spinning around and makes the catch. And that's going to hit. Beecham on that left leg of the foot and a hit by pitch. Ball down the left field side and that's run down. Bella Dayton snags one right along the line. There's a pretty good chance that would have been fair. It was right there. And 13 of those wins last year. That ball shot past the diving second baseman Flaherty. And in the right end, Mitchell has her first hit of the game. Atwood chops it out to second. Flip there by Torres to Flaherty. And over to Ross, 6-4-3 to win the inning. And that's through the hole on the left side. Second base hit for Issa Torres, who's an Austin area native from Georgetown, Texas. A couple of doubles, her second three hit game of the season. Runner takes off, and that ball is sent by Atwood into center field. And Ross is going to wind up all the way at third after her 19th stolen base in 19 tries this year. Ball four is outside to Edenfield. Floated to left. Mia Scott is there. Sibinol's threatened, but Strand two. Think of Mike White as not just a head coach, but a pitching coach. And the strikeout, Danley. Uh, Florida State, by the way, won that game one to nothing. Three up, three down for the first time. You're trying to hit the back edge of the plate. Another chance for check, but this one she can't field cleanly. A little dribbler. Mudge reaches. Beecham gets jammed, rolls it out to Mitchell at third. Heading to third base, Bell by good base running. Out well, of Belvia to take the 60 feet. They're, they are great fans. Slow ground ball right side. That's gobbled up. Washington in the underhand toss ends the inning. Driven towards right center field. It's over the head of Kerr and off the top of the fence. And Kerr gets it in quickly. It'll be a long single for Katie Simmons. Stunned at fielder's choice and stolen a base. Lays down a bunt. Well played that time. Jason, he beats him. Like Henry has. The true freshman has a half dozen homers this year. She backs away from that one up and in from Royalty. And it's 3 2. And now it's ball four. Well, and I was just going to say, that's just her sixth walk of the year. He potentially can end the game in the bottom half, but Scott hits a possible double play ball in the tag at second base by Flaherty. Ate up enough time with Henry running that it allows Maloney to come in and score, so it's 7 0. And she walks. By the way, she dies. And that's driven to deep right center field towards the scoreboard and gone. She doesn't hit a ton the other way, but she does there. She'd gone 11 games without a homer, and that's number 11 on the season. Well, that matches her total as a freshman last year. She is on pace to break the RBI record for Texas. And you're right, Mark, it has been about a little bit, I would say a little bit of March that she hasn't had a lot of home runs. But again, going inside out. Just so good. That's a strikeout of Leanne Good to win the inning. 
Reaches out, slow roller to third. Jolie Mitchell low, but dug out. By Stewart at first base. To be on guard, every pitch thinking, thinking. Well, Issa Torres, who, yeah. uh, as I mentioned, is from Georgetown, Texas, just a few miles up by 35 from Austin. She's three for three tonight. Well, that's a good, good question. We'll have to wait and find out. Yes. <laughs> Stick around till at least June, folks. And here's a strikeout of Ross and, and three of the last five. That's out to short. Martinez throws to first, and in six innings, number two Texas run rules number 18 Florida State. First time in 10 years. Yeah.